Well, nestled in the heart of West Hollywood, a new restaurant welcomes visitors to an enchanted dining experience surrounded by decadent flowers and elegant chandeliers. Joining us here live with a taste preview of Arden, along with details of their upcoming speakeasy, are the co-owners. That would be Jervon Andreu and Roman Rechevin. Thank you for joining us. Good Come to on. see both Thanks for having us. Thank you. Okay, Thank this you is, so much. So this is kind of a three-in-one thing, and it actually started uh, with a cafe. Correct, yeah. We opened the cafe like a couple of months ago. Uh-huh. And uh, we offer like coffee and like brunch menu as well. And then we open like six weeks ago the restaurant now. Okay. So we've been talking about the restaurant uh, and how you guys met and everything. What was the inspiration for this look? I mean, there's so many beautiful flowers. It must be a, a big yeah. bill to keep all those fresh flowers in it, there. Yeah, it came <laughs> from a, a play from uh, William Shakespeare, as you like it. And yeah. the restaurant takes place in the same place that takes the play, which is the forest of Arden, which is a beautiful forest where there is like creation, transformation, love, lots of flowers. And we wanted to recreate kind of like this house in the forest of Arden, mm -hmm. where you have like this enchanted flower chandelier that invade and just develop spontaneously. Oh. Okay, that sets Beautiful. up the atmosphere, but let's yes. talk about what it's really about. Mm. And that is the food. food, of course. Starting with the salad right here, I guess. Yeah, that's the citrus salad. So it's a citrus with scarol and dive, beautiful lemon dressing. It's refreshing, and there is like a French cheese, which is the blue, blue cheese. cheese from Saint Agur. Mm. Ooh, it's really nice. So is the majority of the menu French inspired, right? Kind yeah, of. it's French mixed with Californian food. Okay, great. Meatballs. Of course. Meatballs with like braised tomatoes and so wagyu meatballs with uh, shaved uh, uh, parmigiano on top. And the focaccia is homemade focaccia. Every day we do uh, uh, the focaccia and it's a part of our, lots of our plates as well. What do you think? Glenn is tasting. Taste sample right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, bread always reminds Perfect. me of France and Italy. Of course, so you of always have the cheese, bread yeah. and focaccia yeah. is the important one, right? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> And then what is this? So this is the tagliatelle with fresh truffle on top. Ooh. And, and a yuzu sauce. Yeah, yuzu sauce, so we gave a little touch, you know, of uh, Asian uh, uh, flavor on it. Something different, you know. So you did, say. you mix uh, a little with the Asian, a li California, little bit, yeah. some yes, French. Yes, yes. Pretty international. I find that a lot of French restaurants are very French and they don't expand out of it. Yeah, um, any reason why you did that? Well, you know, we wanted, we didn't want to focus on one cuisine. We wanted mm -hmm. like everybody to be discovering like what the world can offer and the mm -hmm. mixture. And you know, beauty comes with mixture. Mm -hmm. So we want to really offer like a lot of like inspiration from all over the world with a focus on Californian food and French and Italian because our neighbors are doing great food yep. as well. Yes, exactly. Yeah, fusion restaurants always work well in LA Right. Anyway. Yeah, correct. All right, let's talk about uh, these lamb chops up here. Yeah, Pretty that's good. a lamb chop. That's my favorite dish uh, that the chef does with like a saffron uh, roasted. It's delicious. It has to be eaten like rosé, so a little red in the middle. And uh, the sauce around with that mix with, uh, with the lamb chop is just marvelous. And I noticed too that you're putting some flowers and fresh herbs in right. a lot of your... Yeah, it's our signature decoration mm -hmm. and you know, we love flowers, we love women. <laughs> women love flowers. <laughs> you see? It's all just kind of a big triangle, right? <laughs> exactly. All right, and what is our last dish? That wasn't too blatant. Is there a last Oh, that's the panna cotta. Yes. That's dessert. a dessert with a guava glazing on top, so and it's pretty. a panna cotta done with Oh, that's fromage. it, right here, huh? It's I, like, I like that Glenn is doing the tasting. I like and that. The, flower, yeah. the flower is in there, well, Glenn always too. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's an edible flower. So. Is it yogurt? Is so a it's a get it's a fromage yogurt. So it's like a like a cheesecake. Okay. Yeah. Made in a panna cotta. Mm. Okay, Delicious. let's talk about the speakeasy. Ah. That sounds like fun. So the speakeasy is going to open in a few weeks, mm -hmm. and it's uh, hidden behind like a beautiful door uh, with like uh, the mind can be. So when you open the door, you don't even understand where you're coming because oh. it's a totally different atmosphere. You see like the, in the picture, it's a very different atmosphere. You get inside from like this hidden door, there is like plenty of flower people think it's only a photo booth, mm -hmm. but it's actually a hidden door. And when does that open? Like uh, hopefully like uh, beginning of February. We're still okay. working on the, on, on the organization because it's gonna be a speakeasy proposing like beautiful mixology program, mm -hmm. as well as a private dining room. Okay. Well, you'll have to let us know when that opens. For sure. Yes. All right, very nice. Definitely. Thank you. Well, congratulations on your collab. Thank you, Lou. Thank, Thank you, so you Glenn. All right, once again, Arden West Hollywood now open for business. For more information, 
or to reserve a table, visit <laughs> ArdenWeHo.com. You can also follow them on Instagram. And, and gentlemen, again, thanks for joining us. No, thank you so much for having me.